Hi, my lovely people. Happy Tuesday. Y'all, 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 y'all. Hope everyone is safe. I don't know if you had storms and tornadoes like we did here, but when I tell you, it ran all up and through Indiana yesterday. We up, y'all. I'm going to upload tonight. You know, storm was out in the storm, all right? Yeah, huh? Just thank the Lord that we here today, okay? Yes. All right, so let's get right one into this right here, y'all. Excuse me. And you know what? When I seen her do these shorts, and we mean Peach, first song that came to my head was, excuse me, miss, what's your name? Where you from? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we haven't talked about Miss Peach in a few days. And I'm just going to say this. Yesterday, she went live getting her hair braided. And thank God. That, that hair braiding style looks 100% better than that wig that she put on. I think that that braiding style may be the way she needs to go and stick with it because, my God, my God, we know that that wig was a terrible fail, which we're going to get into that in just a minute. But I was sitting there. Her live was so boring, and she kept saying, well, if y'all going to ask content creator questions, then go ahead. And people was asking all kinds of questions. She wasn't answering not a damn one. See, that let me know right there that, girl, you pick and choose what questions you want to answer because you want to be able to give, what's the right word I'm looking for? I feel like she wants to be able to give an explanation that's like common sense. Then she can say, well, I gave you guys the tools to do this, this, and this. No, you didn't. All you sat there and did, Peach, was brush over the questions. Yes. Facebook's a big bang, a big bang. Okay, well, break it down. No, you just give out enough so that people still need to go buy your e-guys and your Facebook guys and join your Facebook groups. And then you go all off until when you waited. I watched her. She waited until someone said, how do you deal with the comments? It was like she was waiting on that so that she could go on a two-hour spew about, well, negativity and I'm not going to get into it and da-da-da-da. Girl, negativity is your ghetto hairstylist. Oh, I said it. Mm -hmm. I had to take a sip of my lemonade because it's hot out here. But anywho, yes, your hairstylist is the negativity because she is telling you to put that on. But anywho, boring, 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 boring. The bottom line that I found out about what she was going on is that her mission has failed. Your mission has failed, honey. You have failed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's just do this. Peach, you issued the challenge, okay? You continue to issue the challenge, and you can't even hold up to the challenge because look at this. Drop one video nine minutes or longer every day for the next 100 days on every platform. Drop 14 shorts uh huh, for 25 seconds on each platform. All right. Go live for at least 10 minutes every day for the next 100 days on every platform. Work on personal self-development every single day for the next 100 days. Then you went and you posted it again and again and again. For some reason, you did okay on day one and two. Then after that, you just kind of flopped. It really, really, let me just say this. I hate when content creators do things like Vlogmas or Veda or, you know, uh, uh, May Madness. And I'm going to vlog every day and I'm going to be on here and promise their sub something. They never can live up to it. If you can't live up to it, just don't do it. Because if you issue a challenge, you're the leader of the challenge and you're the one that needs to complete it to prove to everyone that you can complete it. If you issue a 100-day challenge, get on here, do your job, and then show the people how much you made from your 100-day challenge. That's what motivates people. Don't just tell them to do this, this, and this, and then you don't do anything. So once again, all she did was, for the last few days, was brag on her money, boast on, oh, I don't like doing the content creating, but... It makes me secure if my car breaks down. Well, girl, it didn't stop you from running out of gas, but okay, whatever, mm -hmm, whatever. Now, let's get talking about this hair. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, Big Bad Bo Peach says she didn't care what nobody thought about that wig or that hairline. Now, did she or did she not say that? But in every short, she's got that hairline pulled back. In every short, y'all, did y'all see that short she uploaded today? She was actually out. Shopping at Walmart and she was shopping at Sam's Club and she was with her husband at City Trans and she had that damn wig pulled back just like that. Just like that. Okay, now come on, y'all. I'm going to tell you something. I don't walk out of my house every day looking like no superstar, no beauty model. So let me just put that out there for the bitches in the back that's going to come and try and say something smart. 
No, I do not. And I am known to smack a bonnet on and run up to Walmart. I mean, okay, there ain't no thing. That's why I don't be, I don't be saying that when PG got her bonnet on, girl, do your bonnet thing. A lot of times the bonnets look better than the hairstyle she chooses to put on her head. So, girl, do your thing with your bonnet. So, let me just say that, okay? But, okay, walking around town with a half wig, half knot, she looked like she had a damn mullet. She looked like she had a mullet. The back of the wig was hanging long and blonde, and then that's how the front of it looks. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm damn sure if I'm running out and I ain't going to look good, I'm not going to be running around town with my man looking like that. I'm not. Because, see, first off, one thing, Peach, if you got all these followers, you probably run into people, and that's very tasteless and classless. I, I just have to say that. That's very tasteless. It looks a mess. Girl, your, them braids is like, Really, really giving me popcorn vibes. Your edges is looking like popcorns, honey. Uh huh. Look like uh, the Florida humidity done got to that and it done sweated out. What done happened? Did you sweat off your fake hairline that glued on uh, edges? I don't understand. But that hairstyle right there is giving me, you know, a little seely from Color Purple, aka Mama. Is Master gonna sell us tomorrow? And it's giving me um, a little bit of Mackie Dada. Girl, uh-uh, look like you had a long day out in the orange. No, no, girl, don't let me go. I was about to say she had a long day out there in Florida, plicking them oranges off them trees. Don't let me, don't let me go. It looks a mess, period. And then you walk around with your husband like that, and then I'm going to tell you something. If a person sees wood and then they see you looking like that, I'm just going to give you a hint of advice. If you date a person, that, and, and wood's decked out from head to toe, you know what I mean? He got on gold. He got on polo. He got on his Michael Kors sandals. He like he might have a good job. Let's say some a woman don't know him, okay? And they say, well, look at him. And then you come walking up and you his woman, uh-huh. And you got on that green dress, uh-huh. The one that you said that you want to let a little bit of everything else hang out, okay? And you was comfortable in. And then you got your mullet wig on. And your hair looking like that. First thing she going to say is, I can take him from her. And even though... You going to say she can't? She going to try. She going to try. And I'm sorry. Daddy Wood been slanging that wood around. Uh-huh. That's why he got outside children. That's why women are able to come at your man the way he is. Because you are an embarrassment to your husband. The things that you put on your body and don't care. You just want everything hanging out. You don't give a shit. But if you can walk out in public like that with your hair and your man. So my yeah, me and daddy about to get something to eat. We at City Trends. We at Walmart, we at him. girl, I wish. Ain't not man, woman, nothing that I ever dated would let me walk out with my hair like that. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. A lot of people that I have dated wouldn't even be like, no, you can't go nowhere with me with that bonnet on your head either. I mean, that's a, you know, but I, that's, that's your preference. But ain't no way I'm going up and out around town with my damn hair looking like that. Y'all, did y'all see that shit? She looked like dried up caramel popcorn. Peach. Founding fathers. It looked like dried up caramel popcorn. Girl, you need to be doing Netflix and chill with a hair like that. The only thing you should be doing with that is Netflix and chill. Nobody needs to see that. Uh-huh. How about and then, y'all, don't y'all know I'm messy, right? So, so I don't make this too long. I was listening to the songs and raps. Uh-huh. So let's sing a song for you, Miss Peach. Nobody need to see that. You need to put that wig back. <laughs> Nobody needs to see that. You need to pull that wig back. Ooh, y'all, let me stop. Y'all about to say something else. Ooh, I'm going to see y'all in the comments. I'm going to see y'all.